quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Oh. All right, everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be pretty interesting. This is the first of a weekly series, the first video of a weekly series that I'm starting. I've actually started this series probably three or four times in the last six months, knowing that I have to bulk, knowing that I have to put on muscle again, knowing that I have to get up to 220 pounds, which is my playing weight um, in life, to be honest, not just football. And um, so today's the day. The date is Thursday, the 11th of July. I'm here in my office. It's seven in the morning. I've just finished a night shift. I'm feeling hungry. So I'm going to get a weight. I'm going to take my measurements, as I always do. I'm going to get some pictures. I'm going to give you guys an update of my physique. And this is day number one. Day number one of my bulk. Now, it may be a clean bulk. It may be a dirty bulk. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do it, but I am going to track every single thing that I eat and drink, every calorie, every macro. I'm going to track every training session, as you already know I'm doing. I'm also going to include some training footage of my bench, squat, and deadlift, because those three are the three major compound lifts, as everyone says. And at the end of the day, if you want to base a, a good strength and, and muscle building program, you'd be best to base it around those three lifts. Nothing taxes your back more than a deadlift, and your traps, and everything. Nothing taxes your legs, your glutes, your hamstrings, everything other than a squat, more than a squat. And nothing taxes your chest, shoulders, and triceps more than a bench press. So for me to try and use any muscle memory I do have and pack on any muscle that I have had in the past, it's most likely going to come back, you know, relatively quickly. But I'm going to have to be careful not to eat too much because that's what I normally do. I'll go into a bulk like this. I'll be in relatively lean state, which I am right now. I haven't put on a huge amount of fat. I'm sitting at about 91 or 92 kg. My highest has been 105. My lowest over the last two years has been 87. Um, so we're 5 kgs over my lowest, but 13 kgs under my highest weight and that was over 230 pounds and I can't even remember what it was like being that big I really can't but the thought of being 220 or 230 pounds at six foot one excites me that's the weight that I want to be I want to be big I want to I want to fill out a shirt I don't really care about my abs but you know we're gonna track all that so there's, it's that's enough of me talking okay this is day number one of our bulking transformation anyone out there you want to embark on a cutting transformation, you want to embark on a bulking transformation, you want to get back in the gym after a, some time off, you want to start a diet, you want to do anything to do with fitness or bodybuilding, come along for the ride, Just tune into these videos, we're going to be doing it together, I'm bulking, you choose what you want to do, I'm going to take some measurements and get a weight and talk to you guys a little bit more about how this video series is going to be structured because right now I'm trying to work it out in my head and uh, we're doing this on the fly as I normally do and I actually don't have any answers. But what I do have is a measuring tape. So we're gonna take some measurements. I've got my notebook, which some of you guys may remember, some of you may not. But for my last 12 week cutting transformation, um, we laid it out like this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. So we've got measurements, day one, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and the difference. And then we came over here and we did eight weeks, 10 weeks, and 12 weeks. So the measurements I took and the measurements I'm gonna take this time remain the same. We've got neck, shoulders, chest, waist, left arm, right arm, left thigh, right thigh, left calf, right calf. And uh, this was a bulking transformation. So I started from 98 kilos. I think we've got the weight somewhere here. Where is it? <laughs> it's been a while, man. I'm glad I kept this, though. This is exactly the reason why I do these kind of things. Okay, I'm not sure about weight, but basically, from what I can remember, I started at about 98 kilos. Um, after the first two weeks, I dropped a lot of water, and I went down to about 95. Uh, after four weeks, I was about 93. After six weeks, about 91. Eight weeks, about 90. Ten weeks, about 89 and a half. And at the 12 week mark, I was 88 and a half kilos. So that's nearly 10, 10 kilos dropped in 12 weeks. Now, I'm going to flip it around this time and do a bulk. 
but I'm definitely assuming in the next 12 weeks I can definitely get above 220 pounds you know without putting on a huge amount of fat because I do have muscle memory I've got I've got muscle that I've had in the past that I've let go and being a natural athlete never having taken any steroids that means that you know it, it, it should come back relatively quickly and that's what I'm hoping so without further ado I'm gonna set up a table like this I'm gonna get my measurements and I'll see you in a sec or should I say a neck minute Nick Minute. Alright guys, so I may as well do this on camera actually. Keep it legit. Today's date, I'm going to show you that. Oh, we've got a message. It's 7.33 in the morning on Thursday the 11th of July. Bulking transformation. Measurement. Day zero, day 14. Day 28. Okay, so the first page we're just gonna do six weeks. And then if we're still going, we'll flip it over to the next one. Okay, so we got Nick. Shoulders, chest, waist, left arm, right arm, left thigh, right thigh, left calf and right calf. Now, I didn't really want to put calves on there, but I did it last time. And what you'll find is that calves really don't change a hell of a lot, for me anyway. Uh, but ne genetically, unless you do put on a lot of body fat and your calves start holding body fat, they're most likely not, you know, not gonna change a whole lot. <sighs> so whether I'm gonna train calves in this bulk or not is, is up to me. Like I said, I'm gonna base my training around those three compound lifts. I'm gonna get those out of the way, probably spend a, a good 30 or 40 minutes on that lift, maybe 10, 12 sets total, and then from there assess how I'm feeling and go and do my accessory work, okay? So let's get some measurements. Now excuse the, uh, for, anyone who <laughs> for anyone who's offended by any of this, I want to say, fuck you. <laughs> no, honestly, we're not about that here. And if you were here, you know, a year or two ago, I had no problem taking off my shirt in front of my YouTube viewers. But uh, the time has come, guys. The time has come to bulk, and I cannot wait. So first measurement. First measurement, we've got neck. 16 and a half. All right. We're going to do it in inches as well. Um, shoulders. So the way I take the shoulder measurement is just on the widest point of the shoulder, no tensing, straight across the chest and the back. Now we want to be legit because this transformation I'm hope, hoping is going to be quite impressive. So I would call that 51. Chest. Chest is exactly the same except underneath the arms. I think Arnold back in the day had a 52 inch chest, okay? So just for, just for reference, old Arnie um, had about, well, a good uh, seven and a half inches on me because I'm 44 and a half. Waist. This is going to be the one that I'm going to want to stay the same if possible, but it's not going to happen. I know it. I know it. But, you know, if right now, if we're starting, I haven't taken my waist measurement for ages. If we're starting at 34 inches or, or below, then we've got a chance of holding it together. Let's see. Okay. I'll call it 34. What do you reckon? It's 
no tensing. I could bring it in to 33, but we don't want that. We want, it, we want a true measurement, so that's 34 inches. Sweet. Left arm. I would say, I would say 16. So we've got 16 for that one. And I'd say 16 for that one too. So 16 inches. Maybe a little bit less, but we'll call it 16. All right, thigh. This is a bit of a um, this is a bit of a tragedy for me. I I thought that I did have big legs, but well, I haven't trained them. So what do you expect? But we're still sitting at mm, call it 24 and a half. and the exact same on the other leg. And last but not least, let's do the calves. Well, actually it is least. But, uh, we'll keep this legit. Can you see it? 15 and a half. Okay, just write that down. Now, let me pick up my dignity. And I'll see you guys over at the desk to discuss our newest findings. But no, if you want a quick, quick side chest, that's how we're looking. That's one of the bodybuilding poses. We've got a side tricep. I'm going to do a bit of posing to get my still shots. Side. Other side. Now, I can pick up my dignity. Oh, finally, I've been putting this video off for bloody ages, guys. But the time has come. It's about time, too. Okay, so I'm not gonna to talk too much more. You guys know what we're up to. I'll turn this light on, though. Or will I? There's not a huge amount to say. What I do wanna say is that I've got my supplements up there. Ready to go, the gym is next door, believe it or not. I would show you, but, well. Fuck, we need a weight. We do need a weight. You know what? I'm gonna take my phone down, right now, and film what I weigh, on the scales, in the gym. So we're gonna use a consistent scale, we're gonna use that scale, we're gonna use the same lighting in here, the same setup, for measurements, for photos, and for the weight. And that's exactly what you should be doing. So I'll see you in a second. Keys, keys, keys. All right. Okay, 92 
Where'd my bloody pen go? There she is. All right. I'm just going to put up the top 92.1 kg. Thank God we're not, you know, something crazy like 88 or 89. If I was anything under 90, I'd be basically starting behind the eight ball. Basically what, you know, I guess my eating, eating habits have been what's allowed me to maintain um, my weight. I think the last time I stopped training for a good period of time, which is what I've just done, I went down to like 87 kgs, but I wasn't eating a lot. That was around the time that this YouTube channel started really accelerating in the last year. And I was just putting every single ounce of effort, every single ounce of time, no sleep, no food. I was putting everything into my YouTube channel. And that's what my body came out of it like. Three months of all that, I lost a shitload of body fat. I lost a shitload of muscle. But I gained a shitload of subscribers. So at the end of the day, it was worth it. And um, actually, before I do go, I will give you a quick look at what I got out of that, which is this. This, something a whole lot of people can't say they've got, but I've got one. And at the end of the day, I never in a million years would have thought I could get a hundred thousand subscriber plaque. No way, not a chance, but we got it. We're here and I had to put in a shitload of effort and we're going to put in a shitload of effort now to put, it, to put this muscle back on. Thanks for being here guys, I've rambled a shitload. I know what I've got to do, you know what we've got to do. We've got our first days worth of measurements. I'll check in with you guys again on day 14. I'm going to be tracking everything I eat, filming my training or at least what I can do. Um, it's going to be easy because it's right next door, so I'll just take the camera down, bring it back up, edit it up, and put it on my channel. That's how I see it happening. <sighs> but stranger things have happened. Anyways guys, have a fantastic day, or a fantastic night, wherever you are in the world. It is officially 8.24, no sorry, 7.54. It is officially 7.54am on Thursday the 11th of July. Peace out.